hey what's up everyone welcome to pasha media and i welcome you into this video in my previous video we spoke about how we can add a password to a pdf document using microsoft word in this video it's gonna be different in this video we're gonna still add a password to a pdf document but this time around we're gonna be using adobe illustrator so without wasting time let's get started so as you can see here i have got a document inside of our illustrator we did the same uh, document that we did inside of our microsoft word only that adobe illustrator has a little bit of more features that allows you to shape the corners differently but also you can do the same thing in microsoft word which i'm going to be showing you in my later videos but as you can see here we have got two documents that if you save them there will be one pdf only that when you open that pdf you are able to see both these documents all right so once you got your document set and let's say you have everything that you wanted to type on the document you put all the pictures and your design looks a little bit good it looks amazing all you need to do is just uh, go to file save as under this drop down menu you click and you select adobe pdf once that is selected here there is this uh this option that says all oh, which means if you have got eight or ten pages just like i've got two pages here if i've got 10 or 15 pages you save all of the pages or if you just need one then you can just click there and then take out the two then you to only save one document but in this case we're going to save all of it and then once we click save then adobe illustrator is going to bring you this page now what this page is all about is you can adjust few settings the quality of the pdf and all that stuff but since this video is all about adding a password to your pdf document using adobe illustrator then all you need to do is go to the drop down menu here and maybe select press quality or smallest file size so that it's not so big in regards to sending it via email and once you have done that then you can go to the security option so the security option here allows you to add a password which means all you need to do is just click on this uh, require a password open the document and then you can put the password there so i'm going to type the password as well and then i'll click where it says save pdf then adobe illustrator is also going to bring another uh, pop-up which says please confirm the document open password be sure to make a note of the password it will be required to open the document all the time so it is also this part where i was trying to emphasize in my previous video to say that if you're gonna send this document to a friend or maybe a family member anyone in the world you're pretty much gonna have to send two things you will send the pdf and also you're gonna send the password so we're gonna type the password as well And once that is done then we click ok and then you just click ok now this has nothing to do with the password this has to do with the transparency blend space and the color of the document in regards to how we created it so adobe illustrator is always going to show you stuff like that if it sees that it's not matching the output so in regards to this message which has nothing to do with the password then you're looking at we created this in uh, cmyk but then we are saving it into rgb so that's why we have this message but it has nothing to do with the password so we click ok and then we click ok as well and then now the document has been saved okay so once the document has been saved then we can uh, minimize adobe illustrator then i'll bring this document here which we created and then once you double click on this document it will still do the same thing it will ask you for the password and you just have to type the password and click okay and then it's gonna open as well just like you saw there was two pages and then there are now two pages as well and that's it but if you are going to email this document to a friend then definitely you're gonna have to remember to send the document and then when the person opens on this document the person also needs to have the password that goes there okay so with that said check me again in my next video 
which I'm gonna do the same thing but I'll do it inside of Adobe Photoshop and if you guys loved this video click subscribe to the channel uh, you might want to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my future videos but at the same time I'll see you guys shalom